Hi, I'm Matt Reeves, pastor of Christ Presbyterian Church in Chesterland, Ohio. And every week I write a reflection on life and the spirit of Jesus. And I've been encouraged by lots of people to start sharing these videos on, uh, on YouTube and on Facebook. So today, for the first time, I'm putting one just out there on Facebook Live. And so today, what I'm inviting us to reflect on is letting Jesus into your anger. Here's a word Jesus shares in the Gospel of Matthew about anger. He said, You have heard that it was said to people long ago, You shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Well, life gives us plenty to be angry about. Someone hurts us. Something makes life harder. Something's just unfair. Or we just made that same boneheaded mistake. And we get angry. And letting anger out somehow is necessary. And let's be honest, sometimes getting really angry can feel pretty good. But Jesus has some really strong words for our anger. What can be wrong with anger? Well, in a way, nothing. In a way, anger is just how we happen to feel about something. And some situations for sure really call for anger. But what is it we tend to say? I am angry. And if we notice that wording, I am angry, it doesn't actually get at our feeling. I am has to do with our being. So it's like we're saying, I am my anger. And this is what Jesus is talking about. Because anger becomes a problem for us, for other people. It becomes a problem for our whole world when we carry it around as part of us, when we live like it's part of our being. Living as though we are our anger, or maybe our fear, or lust, or greed, or jealousy, or really any deep gut-level emotion, it starts to shape how we treat others, how we think of ourselves, and just how we generally see the world. Living with smoldering anger, anger that we just keep on stoking and holding on to, well, it destroys us. It makes us less human. Anger that we carry it around keeps us dissatisfied with our community, with a family member, with our society, with ourselves. Anger we carry around keeps us blaming others for problems, which only prevents new beginnings and the freedom of forgiveness or some fresh approach to a struggle. The anger that we nurse might not lead to murder, but if it has us kind of wishing someone were eliminated from our lives, well, to Jesus, that's just murder in the secret thoughts of our hearts. The awful thing about anger is that it would convince us that someone is unlovable, but you can only really believe that if on some level you are convinced that you are unlovable. So in the third and fourth century, some Christians that we now call the Desert Fathers and Mothers, they fled the cities, a lot of them were Egypt, because they really wanted to seek God in the desert. And so there's a story from their life about anger. It goes that a brother was restless in the community and he was often moved to anger. So he said, I will go and live somewhere by myself. And since I shall be able to talk and listen to no one, I shall be tranquil, and my passionate anger will cease. So he went out and lived alone in a cave. But one day, he filled his jug with water, and he put it on the ground, and it happened suddenly to fall over. Well, he filled it up again, and again it fell. And this happened a third time, and in a rage, he snatched the jug and he broke it. And returning to his right mind, he knew that the demon of anger had mocked him. And he said, I will return to the community. Wherever you live, you need effort and patience, and above all, God's help. So, I would ask you, and I ask myself, what's the anger that's being carried around in the jug of your heart, in the jug of my heart? And how is it somehow breaking you? How is it breaking me? Well, the gift of letting it go is that then your heart 
has more room to be filled with God's mercy and God's patience, not just with someone else. I'm talking about God's mercy and patience with you. If you want, you can join me in this prayer. God, you know me, and this is such a relief because I don't have to hide the anger that I carry. God, help me to take hold of it. Help me to even feel its heat because I want to lay it down at you. I want to lay it down before you. And there, with my anger laid before you, I ask that you would consume it with your love, lest my anger consume me. In my aggravation with others, with life and with myself, I pray that you would give me the patience and the compassion and the way forward that come with your eternal smoldering love. That's what I really want in my being. God, may it be so by your gift. Amen. God be with you all today and the life that you seek to live in the spirit of Jesus.